Hi, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and I wanted to share a wonderful salad that I make um, for company or for the holidays, and I usually always make it around Christmas time. Um, the ingredients that you're going to need is basically a 9 by 13. I just use a, a metal pan. It's nothing fancy. It's just going to be us. Um, if I was going to go somewhere to a party and take this, I probably would use something a little bit better looking than this. But because it's just us, I'm just going to use my regular metal pan. I'm going to use a large uh, can of crushed pineapple and my favorite is Dole and during the se this well you know the holiday season the grocery store usually has this on clearance. I'm going to use a cup of walnuts, two boxes of uh, jello, I'm just using strawberry flavored. Um, I'm using sugar free but if you don't like sugar free you don't have to use sugar free. But I don't find that, in my opinion, it doesn't change the taste of it. But I do know some people that can, um, I guess, taste a difference between a sugar-free and a regular Jello. So if you like the regular Jello, by all means, use the regular Jello. It's just going to be, it's just, it's not really going to change the taste. In my opinion, it's not because you're going to put um, 16 ounces of whole frozen strawberries in this. Um, I feel because you're using the pineapples, uh, the, the crushed pineapple and the strawberry, um, using the sugar-free is fine because you're not going to lose the sweetness at all. You're going to start out with a saucepan on your stove and you're going to put this on high. And you are going to bring this up to a boil. Once this comes up to a boil, you are going to add your strawberries or your strawberry jello, excuse me. Then you're going to pour in your entire can of crushed pineapple, then your strawberries. Now when your strawberries have completely thawed in this water and their juices are released and you'll have a good red um, looking uh, jello in the pan, then you're going to want to pour in your walnuts. Then I'm going to simply dump that into my 9 by 13 and I'm going to let this set up in the refrigerator. Now after it has set I'm going to take a small tub of sour cream and I am just going to use it as the garnish. I'm just going to put sour cream all over the top of the jello and it might seem weird to have all of this sweet with sour cream, but I promise you this is one of my f uh, favorite, favorite, favorite uh, salads. It's the most simplest uh, to make, and it tastes really, really good. And the sour cream complements all the sweetness and the texture of the nuts. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will post some pictures of what this jello looks like after it's set but once I get it uh, started here I'll show you what it looks like but because this has to sit in the refrigerator overnight tonight to set I won't actually get any um, takes of it this evening um, with the sour cream on it and so I will just take a picture of it and add it to this video when I edit it so let me get this started let me add get my jello uh, started in here I'll add my uh, crushed pineapple and my strawberries and I'll come back and show you what that looks like then I'll show you what it looks like again when I get ready to add my walnuts so I'll be back okay so my jello salad is done and as you can see the um, strawberries as they cook down they obviously release a lot of juice and they shrivel up um, to a very nice size. I just make sure that when I spoon the mixture in that I spread the strawberries throughout the jello salad so that that way um, with each slice of jello salad there is an even amount of strawberries and walnuts. So I hope you all enjoy. This will be my last video until this coming Sunday and I hope you all enjoyed and you have a wonderful Merry Christmas and like I said, I will put a picture at the end of this uh, video vlog to show you what this looks like after it sets up and I get it dressed. So I will talk to you guys later. You have a wonderful Merry Christmas. Bye! <laughs>